So if we are being the church, if we are developing relations, if we are becoming very dear to one another, what's meant to happen is that it begins to leak out, it begins to overflow beyond this room into our community. And so can you show that very first? Yeah. See, remember, go to the second one, please, Olivia, the second picture. You saw that and you all knew Coke. Go back to the first one, please, Olivia. And if people see that cross, if we are, will be the church and people see that cross, they know what it means. But do they think it means judgment and condemnation? They're meant to see love. They are meant to see acceptance. So if we're doing what God has called us to do, that's what people will associate with that because that's what it's all about. So where do we start? Well, let me read one more scripture. And this is in Romans 12, 9 and 10. Paul is writing again. He says, Let love be genuine. Abhor what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. And then verse 17 and 18. Repay no one evil for evil, but give thought to do what is honorable in the sight of all. If possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. So far as it depends on you and me, which means it's within our power to be at peace with people, at least to some degree. So let, making this practical, one, we got to connect with somebody in some way. If this is the church we belong to, we have to connect in, with somebody in some way during the week. Okay? Or if you belong to another church, you've got to do that there. You're meant to be a part of a church. We are. Two is we can get involved in something like common grace and form relationships with people outside the church so that they're being blessed too. And the third is this. If there is somebody that you're in conflict with, that you don't like, let's say, you don't get along with, is it within your power to make peace with that person? Is it within your power to some degree? Then do that, because that's what God's calling us to do. Amen? Now let's pray together. Father, we thank you, as always. You are, you are steady and unmoving. You never change. You are always there, always loving us, always providing for us, and you are so patient. Father, help us to get it. Help us to catch on to what it is you're calling us to, as we spend time with you, Father, I just pray that we would make ourselves available, that you would change us into your likeness, Father, that we would love you more and in the process become more loving and the people around us would experience that. Father, show us how we can take this beyond Sunday to really become a true church. I just pray a blessing on each of us, Father, that that we would primarily devote ourselves to you, that we'd make sure we're right with you first, not perfect, but, Father, that we are seeking you in prayer, that we are reading your word, that we are listening for you to speak to us, Father, and that we respond to your call and that we give you the honor and glory you deserve by the way we think, what we say, and what we do. Bless these people today, Father, I pray. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.